Here we go, one of the largest provinces of eastern Taiwan. It's a treasure field. East to the ocean and west to the mountains, Hualien. We embrace nature through traveling along the coastline of the Pacific Ocean. One thing that makes Hualien so special is the Taiwanese Aborigines that live here, such as the Amis, the Bunun and the Turoko. Today we'll return to nature and experience an exclusive Aborigines culture at this place. Let's discover Taiwan together. Here we go. Hualien. See, there's all these different... Look at these things. That's what I want to see. Welcome to Discover Taiwan, another episode here, and we made it out of the big city. As you can see, we're a bit more in the countryside. This is around uh, Hualien, and this is the Huadong Valley. This is just around the middle between the ocean and the mountain region of tai Taiwan. And you can see it's already much more green and very uh, a natural environment. We made it to the, uh, the Promised Land Resort. So this promised land resort is where your dreams come true. In Chinese, it's called Li Xiang Da Di, where your dreams come true, right? So let's see, I have a lot of dreams. Let's see which one becomes true first. This is known as a place where you can heal your soul. It's called the promised land, the only ecological park in Taiwan that combines a hotel and natural environment. The gushing spring underground nurtures a large piece of landscape. Pure and clean water feeds a rich number of aquatic plants attracting birds, insects, fish and frogs. Here some of the wonders on earth happen. The armies have been living here in the wetlands for generations. In order to adapt to the swamp environment, they designed a unique sustainable fishing method. They call Palakwa, which means as much as a fish hotel or a structure that allows the fish to inhabit. So this is the uh, Promised Land Resort. There's around 22 cottages that are just all located around this man-made lagoon. And I can see a lot of fish in here actually, that's amazing. The interesting thing is that the, um, the architecture just really reminds me of, of some Spanish architecture, just like uh, Gaudi who plays a bit with the little forms and you can see the balconies has a lot of little snails and turns. Interesting to see something like this in Asia. Just like the old times, the Aborigines rely on handmade production to earn a living, picking, growing and hunting. They pick different kind of wild fruits from nature, living intact with the fish and shrimps of the streams. Aboriginal food culture is inseparable from a secret, unique spice. Makwa, also known as mountain peppers, Santoluxum ayantoilus, is regularly used to substitute for red pepper because of its chewy and spicy flavor. Wow, that was quite a bit. My words can't describe the experience I've explored here. But for sure, if you want to embrace today's nature, you must come and live it yourself. Discover Taiwan with Panda Chan and myself. And don't forget to subscribe to Video English. See you next time.